The Senate cuts Wheeler Pabio says ministries, departments, and agencies that fail to appear to defend their imports in the 2004 and 2026 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper risk being sacked by President Paula Tinubu. Senator Pabio decried alleged frivolous expenditures by MDAs, particularly the government owned enterprises. Well, we have consolidated revenue uh, accounts as expected. We have all funds to go to a consolidated revenue account and they ought to be appropriate perform. They have bill and keep, bill and spend. Maybe a good idea. There's some, there's some government run agencies that are allowed by the excellent regulations which cannot override constitutional provision to bill and spend and then return what they like to the consolidated revenue account. We as the Senate and as the 10th Senate Assembly, to myself as chairman of the National Assembly of the 10th Assembly, we look into those things, look into those legislations and see where they tend to conflict with the Constitution. It's a ground norm. Think up with those things and ensure that we have more revenue that will meet our obligations of government, not just allowing people to be a spend and at the end bring out what they call excess. But those agencies don't be worried. We'll have prepared for you, what is due to you, but we'll not allow for the cross expenses. Henceforth, we must obey the Nigerian constitution. Any law that is inconsistent with any provision of the constitution and is not and void to the extent of that of that uh, inconsistency. Earlier at the opening session, Chairman Senate Committee on Finance, Senator Sani Musa, who acknowledged the complex and challenging economic situation, said that 2024-2026 MTF and FSP document represents a critical roadmap that charts the economic and finance course of the country for upcoming years. Also on the first day of the public hearing, the Senate Joint Committee resolved to continue with the investigation targeted at blocking revenue leakages and curtailing frivolous expenditures by MDAs. An investigative hearing on the remittance of all revenue generating agencies of government to the consolidated revenue, uh, revenue account of the Federation, as well as the payment of the first stamp duty, I mean, 1% stamp duty on all contracts excluded, ex executed in all MDAs. I want to assure you that the 10th National Assembly will carry on with the investigation targeted at blocking revenue leakages, curtailing frivolous expenditures by MDAs, and also we will be doing this to boost the revenues of the government in the face of dwindling revenues from traditional revenue source of crude oil. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.